Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Today we want to present some uh, topics. It will be vascularization and innervation of head and neck organs. Let's start. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, uh, we start with arteries. Arteries of the head and neck branch from the common carotid artery, it will the right and left, and the vertebral arteries, right and left. That pass so the transfer for amino of the cerve cervical vertebra. The common carotid arteries branch into the ex internal carotid arteries and the external carotid arteries. The internal carotid arteries pass into the cranial cavity, so the right and left foramen lacrum, and then branch multiply times and rejoin to form an uh, anterior circle at the inferior aspect of the brain called the circle of villus. Branches of the external carotid artery serve the face. It will be facial arteries and superficial anatomy of the head, including superficial temporal arteries and occipital arteries. Uh, I start with external carotid artery. The external carotid artery originates from the common carotid artery, which in turn stem from the aortic arch left and the brachiocephalic trunk right. Each external carotid artery has several branches, superior thyroid, ascending pharyngeal, lingual, facial, occipital, posterior auricular, maxillary, and superficial temporal arteries. How we can memorize the all external carotid arteries? Yes, uh, we can uh, remember uh, for this we have mnemonic, some mnemonics, for mm -hmm. example, some anatomies like uh, freaking out for medical students. And in this uh, picture, we can see all branches of external carotid artery. It will be superior thyroid, ascending pharyngeal, lingual, facial, occipital, posterior auricular, maxillary, and superficial temporal artery. Okay. Uh, oh. The most important one, it will be maxillary artery. Um, can we ask the question about... Uh, uh -huh. It will be internal carotid artery. The second major arteries of the head and uh, are the internal carotid arteries. They also originate from the common carotid artery and uh, each uh, one is divided into seven segments. Uh, how we can remember external carotid artery uh, will uh, give uh, branches, but internal carotid artery uh, will give segments. And the internal carotid artery are responsible uh, for supplying uh, the brain, eyes, and forehead. So, Fidan, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. How do we can easily remember uh, segments of the internal uh, cardiac artery? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we have some mnemonics for remembering. Come on, please learn carotid clinical organizing classification. It will be cervical, petrous lacrum, cavernous, clinoid ophthalmic, and uh, communicating segments. And also, I have uh, some question for Orhan. Uh, Orhan, can you uh, tell me, please, uh, what's the difference uh, between internal carotid artery and external carotid artery? Maybe you know. Yeah, I know. And the internal carotid artery supplies the blood to the brain. The external uh, carotid artery supplies the blood to the face and neck. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, and I continue with ex vertebral arteries. Uh, the vertebral arteries stem from the subclavian arteries. Two major arteries of the thorax uh, that lie beneath the clavicles. The vertebral arteries extend close neck uh, inside the transfer foramen of the cervical vertebra all the way to the brain. Uh, so their course, they give of several meningeal, muscular, and spinal branches for the nervous structures. The vertebral artery terminates by anastomosis together as the basilar artery. And also in this picture, we can see uh, vertebral arteries. It will be uh, the vertebral and internal carotid circulation are not actually separate uh, entities. They connect as the cerebral arterial circle of villus, which is located within the skull at the base uh, of the frame. Uh, maybe you have a question for this yes, part? Yes, I have. Uh, what is the circle of the villus? Uh, yes, the circle of villus it will be anastomotic ring of the arteries located at the base of the brain. And uh, this um, arterial anastomotic circle connects uh, the two major artery systems to the brain. It will be internal carotid arteries and uh, vertebral and basilar arteries uh, of these systems. 
it will be subclavian artery. Uh, the subclavian arteries are major arteries in the upper chest below the clavicle. They supply uh, blood to the head and neck and arms. The right uh, uh, subclavian arteries areas from the brachiocephalic trunk and the left from the aortic arch. Can I ask yeah. a question, Fidan? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, what is different between left and right? Uh, subclavian, yes, I understand. Uh, the right subclavian tree is from the brachiocephalic trunk, but uh, left subclavian artery originates from the aortic arch, and it is uh, why our left and uh, right arms are different. Okay, and uh, each subclavian artery gives uh, to several important branches at its core, so the region beneath the clavicle. These branches include vertebral artery, which supplies blood uh, to the brain, spinal cord, and the bones of the spine. Internal thoracic artery supplies blood to the structure in the thorax, including the heart, breast, and anterior chest wall. Tyrocervical trunk, a short artery that quickly divides into other arteries, supplying blood to the thyroid gland, neck, upper back, and shoulder and costal cervical trunk. A trunk supplies blood to the upper two uh, intercostal spaces and muscles in the neck and back. And I have uh, one question. Okay, ask question, please. Okay, uh, what is the differences veins and arteries? Uh -huh. What is the difference between veins and arteries? Yes. Uh, uh, for me, yes, question. Yes. Okay, uh, arteries uh, carry blood away from the heart, but uh, veins carry blood back toward uh, our heart, and also veins have valves, but arteries not have valves, and veins located more superficial than arteries in our body. Okay, the third cervical trunk is in another mire at artery of the neck. It's also originated from the uh, artery and giving the follow branch. Inferior um, thyroid artery descending um, cervical artery, a transverse cervical artery, subcapular artery, wings of the head and neck. The mind, one th uh, drawing through two regions are the facial wing, internal, medial, and superior thyroid wing, and vertebral wing. External and internal geography. Uh, but you can ask question. Yes, please. Uh, what is the differences, uh, vein and arteries? Ah, uh, the vein with artery. Arteries carry blood away from your heart, and the vein carry blood uh toward your heart. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will continue my present. Yes, you can. Continue. After, uh, after accompanying and uh, similarly named artery and uh, drawing the respective structures, the first three seats of the wing in above list join the external and internal jugular wings. In true, the, the later two end up in the subclavian and um, graziocephalic wings. This picture to show all of the head of the wings. And next. Um, Fidan, can I ask a question? <laughs> Yes. Of what course. is the difference uh, between external and internal jugular vein? Yes, the external jugular vein collects uh, most, most of the blood from the outside of the skull and deep parts of the face, uh, but uh, internal jugular vein collects blood from the brain, the outside of the face, and uh, the neck. Thank you. Um, this picture is a superior vein cava. And uh, vena uh, and about Latin uh, speaking vena cava superior. And uh, somebody have some question for this picture? Uh, yes, I have a question. Um, superior vena cava have balls? Mm -hmm. No, there is right hand. No, we lost. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Brazil syphilic wings also refilled, referred to as inner aminate veins, are a large venous structure loaded within the thoracic and originate from the uh, union of the subsilivian 
vein with the inter internal jugular vein, tibialis, inferior thyroid veins, posterior in uh, intercostal veins of the uh, one intercostal space. They make vein, a uh, fat make. And wings in internal and thyroid wings. The external jugular vein um, collects most of the blood from the outside of the skull and the deep parts of the face. It is lies outside of the uh, sternal lid master audio, um, muscles and uh, passes down the neck to join the uh, sub uh, vein, vein. The internal jugular vein causes uh, blood from the brain, the outside of the face and the neck. Okay, this one, uh, I have question. Two feet down, last. Okay. Right. And uh, what is internal and external is different? Mm -hmm. uh, from superior and inferior cerebral veins, okay. Uh, the superior cerebral veins drain to the straight sinus and the internal cerebral veins. But inferior cerebral veins drain to the transverse sinus, superior petrosal sinus, and also occipital sinus. Thank you. The wings of the brain are thin world. Uh, Valvesso and uh, uh, press the uh, arachnoid matter and uh, many uh, gal layer of the draw matter of the many men poly extracted blood into the drawings and um, singles the drawings singles then uh, join into the sigmoid and sinus, which become continuous with the internal jugular vein. Um, superior cerebral veins. Uh, these veins drain the upper parts of the spheroidal uh, and medial surface of the cerebral hemis here. Uh, they drain blood into the superior sagittal sinus. Inferior cerebral veins. Uh, these veins uh, return blood form the interior aspect of the cerebral, hem cerebral hemisphere into the transverse superior post rolls, uh, uh, superior patrosal, uh, cavernose and sen uh, no parietal sinuses. Some also drain into the inferior sagittal sinus. Superficial middle cerebral veins, these veins uh, receives blood from uh, veins on the super superotateral superolateral surface as it lies super Superficial along uh, the lateral sulcus and the posterior ramus, the lateral sulcus. Posterior end of this vein is connected to superior sagittal sinus by the superior anastomosis veins. This is because of the its curve along uh, the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. The superficial middle cerebral veins is also connected to the transverse sinus by the inferior anastomotic veins. It terminates in the sernos uh, uh, sinus. Okay, can I ask uh, the question? Yes, absolutely. You can ask. Uh, okay, uh, what difference between a superficial middle cerebral vein and a superior cerebral vein? Superior cerebral veins, uh, like drain the superior surface as superficial middle cerebral veins is drains the lateral surface of each hemisphere uh, amputes amputes in the cernoses or spinopelates uh, sinus okay thank you you're welcome uh what is the capillaries are found in the brain uh but you can ask question yes sure what is the capillaries? okay the capillaries the smallest blood vessel and connect Arteries and wings. Thank you so much. Um, continuous capillaries. Continuous uh, non fenestrated capillaries make up your blood brain barrier. Here, capillaries control the movement of the water, oxygen, and other essential substance between your blood and your brain. In addition, uh, on the complex vascular network, the head and neck and uh, have an equally vast uh, nervous supply. The main nerves of the toes region originate from two main sources: cranial nerves, cran uh, cervical plexus. There are 12 cranial nerves in total. 
olfactory optic ocular motor trochlear uh, trigeminal optocan up some trigeminal up uh, abducent uh, facial facial uh, vestibulo cochlear glossoparyngeal vagus accessory and 